Good morning, good morning. <clears throat> it is stupid o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm up here at a secret location off the A30, uh, just getting ready to take off to do a little bit of paracaching. Um, I haven't flown in about seven weeks, so hopefully all goes well this morning. Um, there are three paracaches I'm trying to go out and get. Um, one is over by Colliford Lake. Uh, there's another one on a tour just the other side of the A30 towards Davidstow. And then there's another one on top of Brown Willie. Oscar went and stuck one up there, which I'm ambivalent about. Um, I don't think there's enough wind to try and attempt a landing on top of Brown Willie, but I'm going to leave that one till last because the wind is forecast to get up a little bit and maybe I might be able to get away with it, but I've not done that before, so I don't really know what I'm up against with that one. Um, hopefully I can get the other two first, go over, take a look, and uh, see what the options are. If I can't uh, land on Brown Willy, then I can um, land nearby and do a, do a hike up, uh, which again, I'm a bit ambivalent about. Um, it's about 10, 12 degrees here this morning. It is misty, misty. You can probably see behind me, there's a big old bank of mist, but I'm hoping once I get up in the air, I should be able to see where I'm going. Uh, if I can't, I can come in and land or I can land somewhere safe uh, and deal with that later. So, fingers crossed it all goes well. Uh, I'm gonna count these off one at a time. Each, each paracash is a task as far as I'm concerned. Get one and then see how it looks for the next one. Cool, catch up with you soon. Trying to put my glove on the wrong hand. That's what happens after you haven't flown for seven weeks. Start making basic mistakes. Definitely time to take care today. So, warm up is done. There's a gentle breeze in front of me. I hope I'm not too close to that gorse bush. Seven point check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All looks good. Let's send it. It is stunning. Oh, look at this mist. Woo! Okay. Altitude needed. Definitely the ground is pretty wet down there. So I'll need to make sure I uh, look carefully before landing. And interestingly, that was quite a run to take off. Probably because my wing is wet. Fairly full tank of fuel. I've got 11 litres. So, first power of cash over by Colliford Lake. And Colliford is towards Carradon Mast over there. So I think... I am going to jump hilltop to hilltop, fly over that way and get into the vicinity of where I need to be. So my first uh, paracache is down there on that little peninsula that sticks out into the lake. Looks like I can make a nice landing, there's quite a big field there. That should be just fine. And a nice takeoff because it'll be ever so slightly cross downhill. So that's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna have trimmed in for a nice slow landing. I've got a thousand feet of altitude. 
That is the reflection of the moon on the lake down there. I don't think you can see that, but that is not something you're going to see very often. Engine sounding good. I increased the tick over just a little bit last night. I thought I'd overcooked it, but I'm quite happy to have it running just a little bit too fast. Better too fast than too slow. It's going to be a long walk out of here if it goes wrong. Let's hope well. Check this out. Just look at it. There's no wind down here. Me, it's fast. Okay, we're down. Oh, it wasn't all that beautiful. Haha. <laughs> but Paracash number one, here we come. So I'm hot on the trail. I've pumped it into what three words? Shorter, manly, sour. And it's telling me I'm 36 meters away. Number 48. So for anyone not familiar with what's going on here, um, good old Oscar has gone and laid out a pile of jam jars hidden around the moors in various places. And he's provided us with a what three words location. And then we're using what three words to come out here, fly to the locations and find the jam jars, which contain stickers, which we are collecting and a piece of paper to write on saying that you've been here. Oh, pencils dropped out. I'm not going to look for my pencil, <laughs> but I have got another pencil back in my paramotor. Done it. Write the name on it, stick it back in the jam jar, put it back where it lives, ready for the next person to find. Okay. Time to clip in for the next takeoff, and I have to say I'm a little bit apprehensive about this one. There's very, very little wind. My wing is wet. I am wet and a bit hot. I haven't burnt very much fuel yet. <laughs> so, still got a very full tank. First things first, let's get the old girl running. Come on. I think the spark plug's getting a little bit old. These atoms start so, so easily. And if they don't, you change the spark plug and off they go. I'll be honest though, might be a nice morning to have a monster get me off the ground a bit more easily here. Wind seems to have changed direction just a little bit now, puts me facing straight at that bloody rock. Maybe I can get off this way, taxi around a little bit and get off. Don't want to have to abort a launch or lay out the wing again because it's just getting wetter and wetter. So, pressure's to zero. Okay. Let's give it a go. Come on, baby!
little bit more altitude I think before I go across any water. The sun is up now, should be burning off this mist relatively soon I hope because I'll be honest it's causing a bit of a problem. Okay, that should be enough height to get me across that little bit of water. And on with the next task. Okay, this is Hawks Tor. And this is where the next cache is hidden. Landing looks a little tricky, but with the sun at my back again, I think there is a little clearing just the other side of the tour which may be my best bet for this. Bloody hope so. Otherwise I'm going to get stuck there. I might just have a little zoom around. There may be something below that cloud that's a bit better. That uh, should be okay. That should be okay. Famous last words. Okay. Let's do it. We can hope for the best. Committed now. I'm down. Right, same thing. Let's get this up in a rosette, keep it dry. This is not easy. My feet are soaking wet. Still misty as hell. Right, it's telling me it's nine meters away. Please make it easy, Oscar. Please make it easy to find. Jar number seven. Okay. Crack on. Okay, a tiny little breeze has come up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, point check, baby. Throttle in hand. Engine running. Let's see what the hell happens here. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, shit, here we go. Brown Willie now and I can see down there oh there's a fence there that doesn't make it so good there is a potential landing spot there it's not great there is another potential landing spot I think it's around there somewhere it's where he's hidden it mm, none of that looks brilliant that does not look great. Uh, up there maybe, but it would have to be reverse. I don't think that's great either. That's not for me. I think me... 
is probably that patch over there. That's what I'll do. Okay. So we can dial this in nicely. I fear I'm going to get into a bit of a wind shadow as I come down into it. Okay, it is a bit rocky. A little bit of control here. But I think we got it. Yeah, that'll do. Oh yes, we're down. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, on the ground for Paracash number three. So, top of Brown Willy. There it is. There's the hiding place. And there's the jar, number 15. In my hand. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm glad that was found easily. Uh, take a quick photograph of it. Show Oscar the man. There's my sticker. All three stickers collected. Now, just got to get one more takeoff and one more good landing. Ian. Seventh of the eighth, 23. That's it. Back in position, down there, and I get to walk home. Hopefully before this wind and weather turns in and things start to get nasty. Okay, let's do it. left my telephone in my pocket so good job I uh, know this area a little bit now I should be able to find my way back no problem oh low cloud look at that okay We're approaching the landing again now clouds have come in really low I'm at about uh, maybe only 500 feet 400 feet 350 feet perhaps pretty bumpy horrible gonna be nice to be back on the ground unfortunately the forecast this afternoon or this late morning I should say late morning didn't uh, work out to be quite as nice as was forecast <coughs> but the challenge is complete I just got to get myself safely on the ground and that is then hopefully another successful day of Paracash complete. I mean the wind is not a bad direction for this landing. Just gonna make sure I give myself tons of space. No risks. Nice and easy. Come on baby. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Okay. <laughs> We're down. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. I'm going to try and put the wing down. Not in a big thistle bush. There's some gusts. All right, baby. Down you come. <laughs> oh my word. Ooh, that wasn't a very nice flight back. But I'm back safe on the ground. Some pretty nice flying this morning. Incredible scenery this morning. Absolutely incredible. This afternoon, 
a little more hairy coming back from Brown Willie, but a nice landing at Brown Willie. Really nice, easy takeoff. Fantastic. Back safe. So it's a couple of days later, um, and I just wanted to fill you guys in on a little bit of maintenance on the Atom. Um, after I collected the first power cache, um, you may remember I uh, had to pull my engine a few times to get her running. Um, usually she starts very easily first pull. I had suggested that it may need a new spark plug, which nine times out of ten, that, that is the issue. Uh, on this occasion, what I discovered was that the mixture had gone rich. So I needed to retune the carburetor a little bit um, and that solved the problem. Um, I'm not going to go through how to do that on this video. Uh, there are plenty of really good videos out there um, to tell you how to tune the carburetor. Um, but if you do come across that problem, um, if your engine is a little hard to start and it's not the spark plug, then it's well worth checking the mixture um, and get that tuned up. So I hope you enjoyed and um, stay safe.